Digital Technologies has a specific responsibility for ensuring that the ICT general capabilities around online safety are addressed. But this can be done in ways that develop students' understanding of digital technologies and the development of solutions to real-world problems. Working in sh with and sharing information online is an important capability that students develop through their studies of digital technologies, particularly in collaborative online projects where students share information about themselves and their ideas with peers, clients, experts and the public, but in ways that mitigate risk and meet established rules and protocols. There are a wealth of Commonwealth government developed online resources that can assist teachers and students in developing an awareness of the risks and appropriate behaviour with online communications. And through their course of studies, students should progressively come to understand the technical aspects of these risks in order to better protect themselves and produce ethically, socially acceptable, sustainable and safe solutions to problems. Now, digital citizenship should not be confined to digital technologies. And as an ICT general capability, it will be explored in a range of contexts. But in digital technologies, we have responsibility to develop students' technical awareness of these risks and the opportunities made available, particularly through online communications. Now, students can engage with cryptographic techniques, using their understanding of digital representations to encode data in ways that makes it difficult for others to decode without knowledge of particular coded sequences. Now, these we call encryption keys. And they can develop solutions to problems that can keep data and digital communication secure. And through this technical understanding, better appreciate the need for privacy and data security. Now students should be exploring how information can be secured with passwords, biometric data such as fingerprints and retinal scans, key cards and RFID chips, and how websites and online transactions can be secured, the use of blockchains to record transactions, and the range of technologies that computer systems must be protected from, such as viruses, phishing, denial of service attacks, identity theft, or hacking. One of the ways students can gain such understanding is through simulations, websites, and competitions in which students learn about these threats by learning how to defend against them, or to use them to penetrate network defenses in what is called white hat or ethical hacking. Now, this approach does need to be managed carefully, lest it be seen as enabling inappropriate behavior. But it has been a successful approach to engage students in a very deep understanding of computer networks and communication processes. And there are a range of support materials developed by spy agencies, including our own, to support student interest at this level.